hello friends welcome once again to our fourth video on ionic 5 uh, login and sign up uh, series in our previous video we looked at how we can log in and sign up with firebase so in this video we are going to see how we can uh, log in with facebook all right in this video i'm going to be working with ios emulator to test our application using ios uh, device so for us to do so we we'll need to run this command first we run ionic uh, build first uh, but because of time i'm going to combine these commands together so that we can run them at once okay so i will put i'll run uh, ionic build uh, production then after that i will run npx uh, sync and then after that i will run npx open in ios so this will open our project in xcode okay let's, so let's go ahead and run this command now our application has uh, launched in xcode we can then go ahead and open our application by running uh, so this is how it appears but then we need to fix some styling here uh, it is appearing differently so okay so we'll come here in our login page and uh, this effect is coming from our iron card we'll go ahead and fix that so we will see iron uh, card and then we'll give a background color let's give it transparent okay let's save and uh, run again so every time you make a change or install any cordova uh, plugin you have to run uh, npx sync project okay so let's run again this command all right now our project has finished building so after that then we can run again uh, using xcode let's see our changes this is how our application is appearing we're going to fix this uh, style here also but let's go to sign to login first and see what we have okay so let's fix this first also so we'll go back to our code and uh, i think from this where we have dark let's put it light light yeah let's go to our login screen uh, then inside here we will again go to iron card yeah iron card here i think we'll add background color content so save and let's build all right now our application has finished building so let's run again good so now our styling uh, is a little bit better so if we go to uh, sign up also has issues but let's go to login and see good so login also is working so let's fix also this uh, input field okay we'll give uh, this one we'll give it i think let's let me just define it here let's say uh, item iron item uh, background and also um, 
Okay, so let's uh, go to our register uh, page and also uh, do the same. Okay, sign up page and uh, you come here and say background color and also uh, iron item. Okay, say uh, iron item. Uh, background and that one will be transparent all right so let's 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 run again our command okay so now uh, let's run again from our xcode okay login Good, so our uh, login is uh, working. But now for us to be able to log in, we'll have to install a Cordova plugin. And then after that, we'll run Capacitor to sync our plugins and then uh, compile for us an iOS output okay so for us to do so we will need to go and uh, look for facebook plugin for cordova so uh yeah cordova facebook and uh, we'll come here to this uh, link here it will link us to ionic uh, framework and here we they they present us with this uh, steps on how to install this plugin but first we need to set up our uh, developer account on facebook before we can uh, install this plugin let's first uh, create a developer account with facebook uh, but first we'll need to log into our facebook account you go to Facebook here this is my account remember the same steps we use to connect with Firebase is the same steps we do with Facebook so you log in to Facebook uh, then after that uh, you can then go to developer Facebook and then this will uh, take you to the developer portal of uh, Facebook uh, then from there you can go to my apps you will notice now my account has uh, been then inside here since we don't I don't have uh, any application with this account I will go ahead and create one and uh, here we'll create we'll build a, a connected experience connect consumer product like Facebook login and so on so we'll select that one click continue and then we'll give our application a name of uh, so that will be our application name then uh, click create leave everything at default then here we do that up good now uh, Facebook has created for us our account uh, to use the Facebook plugin, you first have to create a Facebook account, which we have done, and then retrieve uh, app ID and app name. So to do so, we need to go to Facebook application settings, and then we go to basic settings. We have the app ID and app application name. Uh, then type the following command into your terminal where app ID and app name are the values of developer portal. So we'll copy this uh, command and then go into our terminal. Paste that there. Go back to our application. Uh, copy this ID. App ID like so. Uh, replace that app ID with our ID go back and then uh, copy the application name so paste that there and then run the, the command so this will install uh, 
this plugin into our application so let's go back and see we need to add a, pl a platform so to do so we'll need to come just right down here and say add platform and uh, you can add android but for now me i'm using ios and i'm going to go ahead and add that so for the bundle id we need to go to our application uh, to config file and then we'll find our bundle id here so you have to make sure the one in a uh, capacitor.config is the same as uh, this in the configuration file so we go ahead and uh, supply that there we can click save good so our application has been uh, added okay run this one okay all right now uh, our package has been uh, installed so we'll go to app component uh, app.mod.ts and we add our uh, facebook like so we commented it so this is then we import it just right here oh sorry we need to add uh, this yeah so save and uh, let's go back with the documentation and see what we need to do okay first let's run our application and see if everything is working as expected everything is working so let's go ahead and add our uh let me see what we have in here okay so let's get this configuration like so so we are going to open with source then let's just paste it there uh, let's build see what we have good so we'll go ahead and copy that yeah xcode uh, down here we'll uh, paste in that save and uh, let's run again good no errors okay so in our login we'll create this function and uh, here then we'll initiate our first we'll have to import uh, facebook uh, package from uh, native Good, so let's come here and then uh, do a login. So I said this, uh, F. Then here we'll pass in our permissions and uh, the first one will be public uh, profile. 
So uh, this one enables us to get uh, users uh, picture, username and uh, phone number. Okay, and this one will enable us to get the user's email address. All right, so, and then here we'll, we'll have a response. And that response will be of type Facebook login response. And that will give us our, we'll console log our response here. Okay, now we need to uh, define some variables here like user ID. We'll need it to get the different nodes of this user. User ID will be response, uh, auth response, then user ID. And also we'll uh, get uh, user token. All right, so create a condition here. Then this means that the user is uh, has successfully logged in. We'll then Firebase auth, then sign in with credentials. And then here we have Facebook auth provider uh then credentials and then here we'll pass in our user token so uh here we'll then get a response it should be let's run our application and see what we have So let's uh, run it once more and see what we have. Good. So if we click login, app wants to use Facebook to sign in. So click continue. Good. And this one will launch uh, Facebook. So if I sign in, I put in my password as. Uh, Good, so our application has successfully. So if you say continue as, well, 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 now, uh, good, now we have our object here, which is access token is this one. And then we have a user ID, which is this one. And the uh, expiration is that. Um, Okay, though we have an error with our auth function. Uh, we are going to complete our login with Facebook in our next part, as we also uh, fix this auth error that we have received in this part. And we will also uh, see how we can launch our application in Android Studio. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye bye.